What's going on guys? My name is Hussein and uh, I'd like to make a video to update you guys on my progress of uh, making the Envoy video. Uh, I have to say Envoy is a very fascinating proxy. I'm loving it so far. Uh, I have a little bit of uh, some concerns that I'm going to share with you um, and I'm um, some more detailed when it comes to the actual me making the video but from my researching from the past few weeks uh, Envoy is, is fascinating I love the architecture I love the design decisions they made I like the dock actually you can go to the dock and if you don't know anything about proxy go to the main page and literally click next 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 and you will thoroughly understand the project which is something I love I love the the technical depth uh, the the owners of the uh, project went into discussing these concepts and low-level concepts which, which I absolutely love and adore right there is one problem however when it comes to implementation there is lack of uh, examples and technical implementation of how do I start my own proxy they give you this thing that I absolutely don't like because hey here is a docker compose that just magically just does everything I don't like that I like my configuration to be detailed they do not give you a sample detailing every section of the configuration they give you these proto buff files which I have no idea what to do with Com and, and how do I map it into a YAML config when it comes to, to deploying and starting up an Envoy proxy? Which is, I managed to go, get through these hoops, finding through digging deep into GitHub pages and, and, and issues, finding smaller stuff that I want. I wanted just simple configuration that I couldn't find. How, like example, TLS parameters. I, for the life of me, I could not figure out what configuration I need to write in order to specify the minimum TLS version for my Envoy proxy TLS termination. I could not find it. There is a clear proto file that tells you, hey, this is, this is, the, this is the proto file, this is how it looks like. How does the YAML file looks like? It's a completely different thing. So randomly, I was searching, then and I found, I found a, an a pull request. Someone is, hey, here is a sample of how this will look like, and they use the TLS underscore params. That's one example of. That was a little bit frustrating just to find out how example. So, lack of examples is really a problem when it comes to Envoy. It's understandable though. Uh, because of uh, it's a new project obviously so uh, there isn't much uh, adoption when it comes to end users it's uh, like major companies that are using it but yeah so that's one point but the other point I like to uh, discuss is the decision of uh, the comp components and the configurations so the configuration of Envoy is extremely simple and I love it. So they have this concept of downstream and upstream, which is your, 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 your essentially your backend servers, right? And downstream is basically a client, anything in front of Envoy. Does that make sense? And in order to map uh, your downstream clients to upstream clusters, or these are the backend, you need to, in, to install network filters. So Envoy, they claim to be a layer seven proxy, but I believe it is, it is built as a layer four, layer three proxy with network filter capabilities. So now it is purely at the layer four level and they built filters that allow you to read uh, the, the network. So there is a TCP, proxy network filter there is an http proxy network filter there is a mongodb network filter there is a mysql network filter which is extremely well crafted design there is also the connection pooling and threading pool uh, management which i'm going to talk about um, 
It's a little bit of a nuance. Uh, I like their design, but there is a, some people might not love the output of how the threading model actually, there is no master or, or leader thread uh, that, or main thread that coordinate the work between the proxy, which is, which is interesting, but I don't have a problem with that. So yeah, I have the outline ready. I have everything ready. I just need to sit down, make the PowerPoint, PowerPoint, Google Slides, and then sit down. I have all the configuration. I, I, I built everything I need. So I'm gonna build uh, my, my usual thing, just like I do, did with HA Proxy, just like I did with NGINX, just like I did with Traffic. I'm gonna do the same thing with Envoy. And uh, I'm gonna discuss my opinion with you guys. I'm gonna see you in the next one. What do you think of Envoy? Did you, did you use it? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm going to see you in the next one. You guys stay awesome. Goodbye.